Yeah, I mean, I was diagnosed with spastic diplegia, um, born two months premature. Um, didn't really know what I was going to do with my life. Uh, I loved motorsport. I was pretty much born into it because of my family. Um, and yeah, just worked hard to um, overcome my condition. Initially told I wouldn't walk or talk. Um, but I had a dream, followed my dream, worked hard to put the package and everything together. Worked super hard on my condition. Um, yeah, and turned around now being 27 years old, being the only disabled athlete in the championship, uh, creating history. Um, so yeah, it's pretty incredible. Hey guys, go past the drum kit. I used to play the drums actually. I might serenade you with my drum skills soon. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for the kind, warm welcome. I don't have too long. I think my, my condition being probably the hardest thing I've ever had to overcome um, has really helped me um, sort of work my mind in, in different ways to, to keep it strong. Um, coming to a race or, or whether it's business or whatever it is, um, knowing that I can overcome what I've already achieved um, really helps me move forward mentally. Um, but you're always gonna be getting setbacks and knockbacks. It's just how you overcome them and, and, and learn from them to, to make sure they either don't happen again or you just stay strong to them um, and enjoy every moment of overcoming it and improving. Now, the Hamilton family came from nothing. Um, I was basically brought up in a one-bedroom apartment or one-bedroom flat. Um, we were the, pretty much the only black family within motorsport. My parents um, didn't know anything about motorsport or racing. My dad says that me and Lewis got all of our talent from him, but if you saw him race the other night, you'd realize it's definitely not from him at all. So I'm already working um, on that in terms of preparing myself mentally, knowing that um, you know, you're always going to have these setbacks. And as I said in the last question, you know, it's how you overcome them and keep yourself strong moving forward. Um, obviously, getting in the gym and making sure my legs are as strong as possible, my condition is as strong as it can be. Um, but yeah, knowing that you can overcome um, any obstacle, as I said, with my condition, it helps that. Um, I think it's all about um, understanding your audience, understanding your clients, the people that are going to be there, um, and making sure that the the acts that you have on stage um, relate to the goals that you want to achieve from the evening. You can overcome any obstacle that is put in front of you. Um, it might seem quite difficult initially, um, but if you never push yourself to the limits, uh, you'll never realise what you can achieve. We were walking past this, uh, we're going across, crossing the road, and we were at a zebra crossing, and this car was coming. My mum started to walk out already. And I said, Mum, 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 there's a car coming, there's a car. She said, oh, it doesn't matter, it'll hit you before it hits me. <laughs> right? Now, right, you guys are like, oh my God, she's a terrible parent, right? But it was so funny that I completely, you know, burst out laughing completely and, and realised, um, you know, that, that it goes back to what I was saying earlier, that um, if your parents don't see it as an issue with the way you are and who you are, then the, the child won't see it yeah. as an issue. What's next for me um, is to, to stay in the British Touring Car Championship. It's the pinnacle of British motorsport. For me, I've sort of made it. It's my Formula One. Um, being the only disabled athlete in the championship, my, my target's to, to get to the top of it. Um, but also if I can sort of develop a career in, in speaking as well. Uh, I love sharing my story. Um, I'm just one of thousands of people with a story, um, but I, I really enjoy telling mine. Um, and if I can inspire just one person in the room tonight or whenever I speak, I've sort of done my job. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens in the future, um, but it looks bright. Bye.